it's not cold. Today I will be doing what is in my backpack 2018, but there's a little twist. It's um, book nerd edition. This is basically what us book people actually bring to school in our um, school bags. So yeah, get prepared because this is gonna be a good one. This is what my bag looks like. It's the Fagel, Fagel Revan Can, yeah. I can't say this, it's, it's that company. Don't know how to say it. It's in an orange color. It's very nice, very sturdy, very capable of carrying my book things. So we're going to go into the big pocket and I'm just going to open this bad boy up. The first thing I have out of this bag now is the Bloodlines, first book in the Bloodline series. And just in case I want to read a bit about Adrian, you know, he's my favorite character of this um, book series. So yeah, if I'm feeling like a bit of Adrian, you know, I'm in maths class, I'm like, mm, do I want to be listening to the teacher or can I be actually reading about Adrian? You know I'm going to pick this book, it's just life. Sorry, maths teacher. Next book I have here is the Point to Retreat book. Um, by Colleen Hoover and absolutely love this book if I'm in for basically if I'm having a very emotional day at school you know I get hit in the face by a basketball I'll just read this book and cry away my tears but I won't be crying because I got hit by the basketball I'll be crying because something in this book which I can't spoil a phrase. You should read it, honestly, you should read it. It's so good. It makes my heart go very warm. Is that possible? Can a book make your heart go very warm? Well, this book is just A plus for me. The next thing is a candle. Um, you might be wondering, Sarah, candle school, what are you thinking about? Basically, you know in school, you know when like teachers are teaching in the classrooms and you just see a bookstagram opportunity. You just have to take it. So you have a decent candle, a book, Bob's your uncle, you can take bookstagram school pictures. I'm proud of myself. It smells nice so your smelly ass classroom can actually smell decent of sandalwood vanilla and salted caramel. The teachers should thank you. The next thing I have in this glorious bag of wonders is a small light. Um, yeah, it's very bright, very bright light. Basically, if your school goes on a blackout, you have a light to read. I got you. Everyone's stressing out about, oh my god, what's happened to the lights? Are we in apocalypse? And you're there reading your book. Happy days. Also, if you're feeling it, um, you and your friends, your book friends, you don't have actual friends, you only have book friends. Um, you can play wands, because they of course will have something like this too. They are book people, of course, they have a bag full of bookish things. Do you know a bit of Harry Potter there, Expelia? I haven't read the Harry Potter series. Don't really know how it goes. This is a necessity. The next thing I have in this bag is some headphones. Because do I want to be hearing people talking about school? No, if I put these on, I'll cancel out everyone's talking, all their gibberish, and start reading. You know, it's just fair. Like, why would you want to spend your time listening to people talking about how Barbara got off with Jimmy? Like, you don't want to be hearing about that. You want to be reading a good, thorough book, and this will help you cancel out these crows in the background. The next thing is a towel, of course. You don't, you want to preserve your books. If you wrap this around your book, as so, look, book, wrap the round book. It will not get damaged. It will, the covers, the sides of the book will be pristine. You will be a happy girl because you, you helped your book stay beautiful. And everyone's happy. Your book's happy, you're happy. The towel is doing its job. Everyone's happy. Also, if you're going to gym and you kind of sweat, you probably, probably need a towel too. So that might be good too. <laughs> so the next thing I have is water, because I don't want to die. I want to stay hydrated. Um, when I'm reading for hours, I don't want to die from dehydration, because then how will I finish the book? How will I know how it ends? Now I'm going into this small compartment here. See what's in here. Of course, 
I have some glasses. <laughs> look how weird I look. Okay, I look terrible. Anywho, if you, you probably all look good in glasses, but you need, glasses are good to read. Because reading is good, of course. Factor 50, sunscreen. You don't want your books getting any sun cancer at all. You want them perfect condition. So this bad boy is a real thing. You just slab it on, you know, blend it out very, very well so there's no remnants of sunscreen. And Bob is your uncle. You're an amazing mother. So next thing is scissors. Of course, in case a teacher tries to grab your book, you just snap off their fingers. It just has to happen. I'm sorry, Miss Barbara. Next thing I have in here is, of course, Akvas. I have read this. It was a good book, kind of. And yeah. It's a good book to read because the characters are fab and when you feel like your friends aren't doing it for you just read this book Cassie and Azrael Moore Amran will will help you through that dark time the next thing I have is this jar of air you want to give this to your book every 10 to 15 minutes just open it up and give them a bit of air like open up and give them a bit of air because you want to preserve their youth and you want them to stay alive so of course then I have a pencil don't really need that and I have a notebook and the final thing is a hat when it's sunny and you can't see put this bad boy on and you'll be able to read it'll cancel out the Sun you are welcome so yeah that was my what's in my backpack it's all empty now and I hope you enjoyed this little fun video I will see you guys in my next video Bye.